What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Trading Crypto. Today, we're going to go over AirTor Protocol or ATOR, which is up 2.2% at 54 cents. Small market cap of only 39 million, small circulating supply of only 72 million, and the max supply is 100 million. So I like that it's almost 75% in circulation. They can't dilute the market by dumping billions upon billions upon billions of coins upon you diluting the price and making it harder for the price to rise. So the small circulating supply, small max supply, that's already a win for me. This market cap is awesome for an upcoming bull run all-time high listing was three days ago at 62 cents all-time low is four months ago if you would about four months ago you'd be at 428 percent on your investment it does look like this is a rather new coin april of 2023 so it obviously has not seen a bull run yet it's currently available on the following markets if you're interested mexi and uniswap so it's very very limited markets for this right now now i don't know what this really does so you can always head over to their website and kind of do a little bit of research so for anonymity at scale welcome to atr atr empowers the adoption and strength of the tor network atr proof of uptime and relay hardware allow users to earn passive income while contributing to tor so Relay and receiving recognition through ATR. ATR strengthens Tor with on-chain rewards. Contribute to the internet anomaly as a Tor relay and receive ATR for proof of uptime. So it kind of sounds like some HNT type stuff where you can get a miner and stuff and do that. kind. Now, I really don't know much about it. This is the first time I've looked at the website. So with that, let's get into the price prediction and technical analysis on ATOR. All right, all right, all right. Let's get into ATOR. So it's the Forever Up coin, apparently. It came out April 2023 and it's just gone up ever since. So <laughs> congrats, congrats. So we're kind of in price discovery mode here since we just put a new all time high in three days ago. So with that being said, we don't have any prior support or resistance here. We, we do have a prior support area, but we don't have any prior resistance area, I guess you can say. So we're going to heavily rely on the indicators in the Fibonacci for this price prediction. So if we go top to bottom right here to the initial coin launch, what we're seeing here is that 618 is sitting at about at about that 24 cents area now that 618 is a very critical resistance area it's called the golden pocket you can see during an initial lift off right here that's where we hit we ran all the way up to that 618 got wick, wicked off that went down to the 382 and then hovered around that 38618 from may 31st all the way till june 17th until we broke out and went above the 786 so right now what we're seeing here on the day chart longer term time frame is the macd starting to cool down so the macd is starting to cool down losing its bullish momentum um, we have the RSI starting to dip down. The RSI tagged out at around 68, starting to make a sharp downwards move. Almost entered the red here. We did not get a sell signal, but there's not a whole lot of data, so I wouldn't be surprised about that. If I had to make a prediction, which I do because this is a technical analysis or price prediction video, is I would be expecting this most likely to head back down to 37 cents in the longer term of things as a worst case scenario, and then head back up from there in the longer term. Now, if we do a short term fib, it'll give us a little bit more um, short term analysis on price action. So we can go from top to bottom right here. Actually, I think we can go from right here. And that's kind of the same situation, retracing back down to that. 618 so there's two different scenarios here for ator that i could see happen i do think it's going to go down in price it has to cool down a little bit it's just where's that support area going to come in at the first support area for ator is sitting here at around 43 at the 786 so when we head down here that is the first price area that you need to keep a close eye on so right there on a sticky note slap it on your forehead so you don't forget ator we need to keep an eye on 43 cents that is our first main support area so if you break below that 786 your final support is going to be the 618 i don't think we'd fall below the 618 if we did head down here and break above this break below this first resistance level but those are the two price areas that we need to keep a close eye on for ator as it's been coming out i mean as it came out this thing has been bullish ever since launch pretty much very healthy growth upwards downwards upwards downwards not just a straight moonshot that's what you like to see in your coins and with the small market market cap and small circulating supply i definitely think this is a win in the upcoming bull run so there's two different scenarios i see happening i do think this coin's heading down in the short term either to the 618 at 43 or worst case scenario, 618 at, th at 33. Now we can go to the four hour time frame to get a little bit more tighter, a um, little bit more tighter type frame, time frame, similar situation here. Um, we have the WTX, which is bearish right now, trying to work its way bullish, but it's pretty indecisive having large engulfing candles and then lighter candles, large engulfing candles and so on and so forth. RSI sitting at a pretty neutral level, actually we're above 50. So if you're above 50, you're technically bullish on the RSI. So we're, we're at support on the RSI here. WTX is pretty neutral. I do think we still are coming down to that 42 cent range. Now we can do some very, very small um, fibs 
from top to bottom right here. And if you want, if you like going by short term fibs, then be my guest. You can see we did bounce off the 618 right here. I would say the worst case scenario on the downtrend would be 50 cents. So, like I said, keep an eye on 50 cents. And then, worst case scenario, you have that 48 cents. And then you have the 33 cents for ATR. But, regardless of that, I think this thing's going to do absolutely phenomenal in the bull run, definitely with the setup of the small market cap and small circulating supply. So, what I like to do is just look at the larger time frame, draw the large fib, and, you know, KISS, keep it simple, stupid, right? Or is that just kiss? Yeah, keep it simple, stupid. This large time frame, find the support, sign, find the resistance, buy the support, sell the resistance. Boom, boom. It's something like that, or we're doing this. It's one or the other. So with that, none of this is financial advice. And if there's any coins you'd like me to chart, or if you'd just like to chat with me, you can post them on my Discord or on my Twitter page. The links are below in the description.